Stanford is joining a growing number of universities across the nation that are postponing a return to in-person education after the winter break. It's all in an effort to stop the spread of COVID on campuses, but not every campus is putting the brakes on after the holidays. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen talked to one of the Bay Area's leading infectious disease experts about why this might be a useful tool on campuses from kindergarten through college. Everybody who gets infected at school, they act like a little coronavirus bomb. UCSF infectious disease expert Peter Chin Hong pulls no punches when he talks about the threat of the coronavirus in all of its forms, especially the new and rapidly growing number of COVID cases from the Omicron variant. We certainly know that it's very, very transmissible. It's more transmissible than Delta. It's going to take over the landscape from Delta. But we're not really fully confident that uh, you know, it's going to keep people away from the hospital. Stanford University specifically cited Omicron's highly contagious nature in its decision to hold all classes online for the first two weeks of the winter quarter. The university said, quote, although we have not seen an increase in cases on campus related to the Omicron variant, the uncertainty of its transmissibility this winter remains a concern and poses some logistical challenges for the start of in-person classes. Stanford says it will also help students and teachers move into the new quarter with as few disruptions as possible. For those reasons, um, it's, it's wise to probably put the pause button and, and defer uh, congregate activities like schools that are more optional. Meanwhile, UC Berkeley says it has no plans for now to put in-person classes on hold, but is monitoring the situation and will adjust if needed. The school is advising workers and students to continue masking, testing, and vaccinating to stay safe. Dr. Chin Hong says it's appropriate for each campus to make their own decisions based on their own local metrics and not just colleges. In San Francisco County, for example, very high vaccination rates, not just in adults, but also in adolescents. Dr. Chin Hong says it's important for students and staff to get tested before winter get-togethers and before returning to campus to make sure they don't bring the virus back to school with them. Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.